hello and thanks for joining us coming up on today's show. We go to Angoulême, southwest France, for the annual French language film festival. The 11th edition features productions from Canada, Switzerland and Tunisia, as well as France. And this year there's a special selection of films from Haiti. To tell us more, Haitian actor and jury member Jimmy Jean-Louis joins us to talk about the world of French and international cinema and about his career on the small screen as well as at the movies. Six days of star-studded cinema à la française. Every August, the city of Angoulême is the place to be for French language films. The jury's been busy weighing up the merits of the ten features in the main competition. And one of the industry stars judging this year is actor Jimmy Jean-Louis. Jimmy, thanks for joining us from Angoulême. Tell us how It has is the... a pleasure. <laughs> Hi, tell us, how has the judging process been going? Has there been much consensus among the jury members? Any big surprises? <laughs> um, yes, I mean, first of all, the movies that we've been uh, seeing are great, but uh, the judges are a little bit divided, so it's going to be interesting when, when it's down to, to choose the best movie. Okay. Well, here in Paris, we sometimes hear film critics criticizing French cinema for being a bit serious, a bit intellectual. Do you think that image still characterizes French cinema today? Maybe a bit less, not based from, uh, from the movies that I've been watching here, because uh, a lot of them are still around the families, you know, the, the French families, but with, uh, with subject matters that are extremely interesting. Not necessarily intellectual, but just normal and ordinary. And, and that's been actually quite uh, delighted. I've been delighted to, to see that. So I think there might be a little switch, even though I understand that uh, the so-called cinéma d'auteur is still what matters the most uh, for the French culture. So that will keep on going because it's necessary to keep on uh, uh, showing some of the French culture to the, to the world. And, and the best way is to do it via cinéma and the best way is to do it via cinéma d'auteur. Well, this year's festival ha does have plenty to offer. The 30,000 visitors expected to descend upon the town. A special focus on Haitian cinema, a photography exhibition about Johnny Hallyday, and some comic relief courtesy of Quebecois filmmaker Sophie Lorraine. France 24's Renaud Lefort gives us a tour. The normally quiet streets of this cathedral city are a buzz. The fans and stars of French cinema have descended on Angoulême for a festival with a relaxed mood. <laughs> and here there's one philosophy above all. It's about the French language, using it to make sense of the world. In the competition we choose from about 60 films and select 10. The films must really surprise us before we propose them to the public. It's really a choice of heart, but also a good cinematic choice to recognize how to make beautiful pictures. The festival is in its 11th year, and this time there is a chance to delve into Haitian cinema, the opportunity to see L'Homme sur les Quais, a documentary by Raoul Peck, and to rediscover Pour au Prince Dimanche 4 Janvier, a fictional retelling of the student protests against the dictator President Aristide in 2004. I liked it because I discovered something new about this Haitian revolt. It brings new elements to the table and also raises questions about what happened in Haiti. 4,000 kilometers further north in Quebec, French Canadians are making us laugh about serious things. In Slut, in a good way, Charlotte's adolescent body is transformed and it leads her to start asking existential questions. No. <laughs> I wanted the subject of the film to be a little irreverent. We don't often have the opportunity to talk about the sexuality of young women. It's still a little taboo. I wanted to make this film a fable, a tale not quite from this era an unfamiliar one that young people will see differently. And then there's Johnny Halliday, the late French singer, 
and a child of the cinema age. Photographer Tony Frank followed him on film sets for 35 years. Now his daughter, actress Laura Smet, inherited this passion for film. She made her debut behind the camera with a short film, Toma, a story of family and kinship. Well, we saw in that report that this year's special focus is Haitian cinema. You yourself came to Europe as a child from Haiti, and you've even played Toussaint Louverture, the Haitian revolutionary and its first independent leader in a miniseries. How important for you is it to be involved with telling the country's story? For me, uh, being Haitian, and, and I've, been, I've been sort of the face of, uh, of the country in the, in, the, in the movie world for the past 10 years, and it's so important to sort of show a positive image of the country. So I've been blessed to portray characters that mean so much to the country. Toussaint Louverture is one of them, but I've played Haitians in so many movies uh, across the world, whether it was from America, even uh, in France, in Indonesia, in Brazil. And uh, when you come from a country that, is, that has been suffering for the past 30 to 40 years, whenever there is a chance to put some light, some positive light on it, for me, it becomes, uh, it becomes a real job. So I take it quite seriously. And, uh, and, and I, I should mention that I do have a, an official title as a Haitian ambassador. Uh, at large. So, you know, I, I really take that seriously because, you know, I would love to see my country getting out of uh, that mess that, uh, that, that it has been for, for so many years. And just a word on Haitian cinema, how do you judge the, the quality of what's being produced at the moment? Anything that catches your eye? Uh, well, th th there is a new wave of uh, of filmmakers coming from Haiti. You know, a bunch of youngsters trying their best uh, to 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 make movies. But you know, based on the economical situation of the of the country, it's very difficult. We have no theaters in the country. That's why, for me, being here at Angoulême means a lot because uh, that means uh, maybe by letting people know that uh, cinema exists in Haiti. So yeah, uh, I think there is a desire from the young filmmakers to, to, to get out of the situation and to, to, to provide us from great products. But the reality is that without theatres, there is nothing that can be done. Now, over the course of your career, you've had experience in both film and television, and you came to international attention in Heroes, the hugely successful American sci-fi series in which you played a modest sort of superhero. You'd moved from France to the US to pursue your yeah. career there. And what was the thing that struck you most about the American way of doing things? I have to mention that I also lived in Spain, Italy, South Africa, England before I moved uh, to the States. Uh, what worked for me in the States is, is the fact that you're allowed to actually dream, you're allowed to to get in the doors and showcase your talents, and which was a little bit different for me in France, because in France I was extremely frustrated. Uh, when I was around 20, it was very hard to, to get in any doors, and uh, with or without talent, especially for someone like me, but in America, I was, I was able to, you know, to showcase a little bit of what I had, and America gave me, to some level, uh, a great platform, you know, and, and to, to become who I became in the, in the world of, uh, of cinema. So uh, I, would, I would definitely mention that they're a little bit more open to that. And, uh, and uh, it's funny because I'm here in, uh, in, in Angoulême watching a bunch of movies about families, French movies about families, and... Uh, so far, I've not seen one French movie with a black family. And for me as an actor, is a bit problematic in a sense that, you know, I'd love to play the normal character. I'd love to play in French movies as well. But, you know, there's still a big gap between uh, the reality uh, of life in the country and the reality of what's being portrayed on movies or TV shows. Well, currently, you're playing Dr. Gregory Rouval in the American series Claws. Now, he's the love interest of the main character, Nisi, who runs a nail salon. Let's get a better idea of the series, and here's a look at this clip. They don't own us. These are the baddest bitches in Palmetto. Always thought I was a visionary. Our new boss. But she never want to listen to me. She's putting a lot of pressure on us to do more nails. 
is the beginning of wonderful friendship. It's an opportunity for us to tighten up game. You promised to make better life choices. I got this under control. Now, your character in Claws comes across as a nice guy, but we soon work out he's not exactly what he seems. I don't want to give any spoilers here. But what have you most enjoyed about exploring that character? In Within one character, I've played many emotions, many, you know, it, it's a real nice, beautiful arc. Because you come as an elegant doctor, and then you, you, you show some kind of menacing face, and then by the end of the second season, I can't reveal anything, of course, but you know, the, it's, I mean, it's, it's such a joy to play those kind of characters because you play all kind of, uh, all kind of emotion, and you give all kind of, of, uh, of colors, you know, uh, within one character, and, and and that's great. I love it. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's it's yet. Uh, yes, a comedy, but it's a dark comedy where everything goes, you know, and uh, and those girls are badasses and uh, to have a few men around playing supporting roles. Yeah, they are <laughs> playing supporting roles. You know, it's uh, it's nice. It's a nice crew. Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining us, Jimmy. We'll leave you with one of the films screening at Angoulême, the magical realism tale Haiti Mon Amour, released in 2016. Do you remember to check out our website for more arts and culture, and you can also keep up with Encore on social media too. Stay with us, there's more news coming up on France 24 after this. Tout ce que je dis comme ça, à faire des achats, ça n'a pas intérêt. Qui ça vous voulez pour moi faire l'autre bord sans rôder ça 